My name is Anna. That afternoon, I suddenly felt sleepy after working all day on the computer. Not long after, I fell asleep in my room. Towards evening, at around 6 p.m., I woke up from sleep. At that time, it was starting to get dark outside the apartment. I felt something strange. Suddenly, I woke up with goosebumps and an unusual feeling of cold, even though the door and windows of my room were tightly closed. While trying to open my eyes slowly in the slightly dark conditions, my eyes turned towards the mirror in my room. I vaguely saw a reflection in front of the mirror in my room. In a half-drowsy condition, I tried to reach 100% consciousness. I vaguely saw a woman wearing a green robe, long-sleeved blouse, and a gray skirt with a large, dark pink flower motif. The woman had just put down a wooden comb, which I was sure was not mine, because my comb was black. At first, I wanted to get angry and reprimand the woman for daring to enter my room without permission. However, a few seconds later, I remembered that my room was locked tightly. My windows are also locked tightly, and my window curtains are still neatly closed. Instantly, I saw the bottom of her skirt floating up, and I didn't see her legs. My heart was beating very fast. When I looked at the woman, she would turn her head. I hurriedly pretended to be asleep while facing the wall so as not to see the woman's face. I even heard the sound of several objects that suggested the sound of people dressing up. Gathering all my strength and courage, I then pretended to wake up by moving my body and making sounds while still closing my eyes. Then I opened my eyes and sat on the bed. I looked around me. There's no one missing. The next day, I told my friend who lived in front of my room. He said that he had seen the same figure carrying a red umbrella pass in front of his room and then disappear somewhere during the rain in the afternoon. Since that incident, I never want to fall asleep in the afternoon, no matter how tired my eyes are. According to the receptionist at the apartment, the woman was a guard at the apartment. He didn't want to tell me much and just told me that. To this day, it remains a mystery. That evening, my friends and I were sitting relaxing in a cafe. That night, the moon shone very brightly and the air was very cool. My friends and I were joking around in the coffee shop discussing various things. In the middle of our banter, suddenly, one of our friends fell silent. I asked him what he was feeling. He said he smelled something bad. My friends and I then laughed out loud. Strangely, my friend remained silent for the next few hours. Suddenly, one of my other friends suddenly fell silent too. When asked, he admitted that he smelled the same bad smell as my previous friend. Finally, we started to get goosebumps and wondered what was happening. As if answering our question, the sky suddenly thundered. The weather that was previously calm, peaceful, and cool suddenly turned tense. Drizzle began to fall slowly. Not long after, the drizzle fell heavier. In the midst of the heavy rain, one of my friends suddenly shouted. He pointed at the end of the road. We were all surprised. At the end of the road, there was a pair of men and women in wedding attire walking along the main road in the rain. Their faces were black and tense. Of course, we all immediately ran away from the couple who were getting closer. The next day, I asked local residents about my experience last night. They then said that a few weeks earlier, there had been an accident that killed a newly married couple. Maybe that's the couple I saw last night.
Andy sat restlessly in a comfortable intercity bus seat. In fact, he couldn't wait to go home to attend his best friend's wedding. However, there was a feeling of anxiety growing inside him since he got on the bus. The bus rolled through the silent highway in the middle of the night. The moonlight only reflects mysterious shadows along the road. Andy tried to relieve his anxiety by listening to music through his earphones, but a strange sensation kept creeping up on him. When the bus passed through a dense forest, the atmosphere on the bus suddenly changed. The sound of the wind rustling and the leaves swaying outside made the atmosphere even more tense. Andy felt as if something was staring at him from behind the window. He tried to ignore the feeling, but second by second, it grew stronger. Suddenly, the lights in the bus flickered and finally went out. Andy felt his heart beating fast. The atmosphere inside the bus was pitch black, decorated only by the sparkling outside lights coming in through the cracked windows. Andy tried to take out his cell phone to light up the surroundings, but his cell phone just turned off. When darkness enveloped the bus, Andy felt a cold chill creeping around him. He heard the sound of soft footsteps walking down the bus aisle. Andy held his breath and tried to stay calm. However, fear began to penetrate every fiber of his body. Suddenly, the seat next to Andy was empty. He felt that something was sitting there. He looked curiously, as if there was a blurred silhouette of a woman wearing an ancient white dress. Her long hair covered her pale face. His eyes looked empty, expressionless. Andy found it difficult to make a sound. Who, who are you? He whispered shakily. However, the woman just smiled mysteriously and continued to look at Andy. The wind noise grew louder, and the bus felt like it was moving at an unnatural speed. Andy felt as if there was a supernatural force controlling the bus. You don't come any closer, Andy screamed while trying to get away. But the woman was getting closer with slow but frightening movements. Andy felt a cold touch on his cheek. The woman was now standing in front of him with her face becoming increasingly clear. Her lips parted, revealing scary, sharp teeth. Andy screamed at the top of his lungs and tried to escape backwards. Suddenly, the bus lights came back on and the atmosphere returned to normal. The woman just disappeared. Other passengers on the bus woke up and saw Andy gasping for breath. They didn't feel anything and were confused by Andy's reaction. Andy could only rush to explain what had just happened, but it was as if it was all just a bad dream. <laughs>